Hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome Bye. to your class number two. Hello. Yeah. Hello. All right. There we are. Welcome, everybody. This is your class number two. I hope everybody's ready. Yeah, ready? Because we have a lot of things to do today. And, um, well, I'm glad that you are already here and that you are punctual, all right? And thank you very much for that. We are going to start the class by doing some uh, speaking activity because this is a warm-up, right? So we are going to warm up. This is the way to remember what we were studying yesterday, okay? Yesterday we were talking about day about the daily routines, daily routines, yeah? Activities we do every day. The activities we do every day or the activities we are supposed to do because they hired us for to for doing that work, all right? So that's a routine. Now, I just want to ask you some questions. And this is very important, right? This is very important. So I want you to share your responses with the class, okay? One second, allow me to get there. So here we are. Mm -hmm. So we want to listen to you telling us some answers, okay? How to answer a question of this kind? This is an information question. So we need to give a complete answer. I, and I say the action, I, the verb, I wake up, I get up with the verb, and then I say anything that I want to say. So. What do you do when you get up early in your day off? Day off is the day that you don't go to work. It's your resting day, okay? You are not supposed to go in that day because it's your time for resting, okay? It's your resting time. So what do you do when you get up early in your day off? Imagine a Sunday, imagine a Saturday, and you're getting up very early, <laughs> What do you do when you get up early in your day off? Rosa? In Spanish is que hago en mi día libre, según entiendo. No, no, no. This is no. a situation where you don't want to get up early. You don't want because it's your day off, right? It's your resting day. So what do you do? When you get up early, but it is your day off. You don't have to go to work. What do you do? Es que no comprendo la pregunta. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's do it together. Don't worry. Don't worry. We are understanding the question. What do you do? Que haces, right? when you get up early in your day off. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and you don't have to go to work, all right? You don't okay. have to go to work. So imagine uh, you go back to sleep, yeah? Or you get angry, oh God, I got up early. So what do you do? Mike, uh, is there anyone who wants to share? An answer and then goes Rosa just to see. Uh huh. Anyone? Sure. Tell me, Carlos Ernest. I do drinky coffee. I drink coffee. coffee. All right. I drink <laughs> coffee. Very good. It's not your day 
to go to work. So you drink coffee, right? At home. All right. So now, Rosa, now you got it? Yeah, more or less? I, I mm -hmm. see you. I see my cell phone. My cell phone. Oh, great. Very good option. I see my cell phone. Okay, yeah. I check my, let's say, social media, social networks. All right. Okay. I <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Everybody, please tell me, Ronaldo. Okay. Uh, for example, in I uh, brush teeth. Okay. I brush, I brush teeth. Teeth. Uh -huh. okay. teeth. Like this, teeth. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh huh. Who else wants to participate sharing your answer with the class? I go to I go into the movie theater teacher. I go to the movie theater. When you get up early in your day off, on your day off, I'm sorry. On yes, your day off. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go to the movie theater. All right. Good. Thank you, Saul. Mm -hmm. What else? Don't you get angry? to wake up so early in a day that you are supposed to rest? Yeah, well, I will say, I get angry. <laughs> yeah, because I'm supposed to sleep, I uh, mean, to get up late, right? Get up late in my day, on my day off, all right. <laughs> uh -huh. But one thing that we I do clean, maybe- mm -hmm. I clean the house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I clean the house. Uh huh. Good. I how do you say? Uh, how do you say teacher plan share in English? Iron, iron. I iron. Uh huh. My clothes. My clothes. Yes. All right. There you go. Uh -huh. Tell me, Rosa, again. I uh, preparar no sé cómo se pronuncia. Yes, I prepare. Uh -huh. Prepare my din diner. My dinner, okay. Dinner. My dinner. But remember, it's the morning. Right now it's the morning because you are getting up, right? So maybe you prepare your breakfast. Is that correct? Breakfast. Okay, yeah. Because dinner is at night, in the evening, right? In the evening. So let's say that I get up and I prepare my breakfast. All right, good. Mm -hmm. There you are. Thank you very much. Now, let's look at the next question, okay? This is our next question. What do you do when you get late to work? In this case, uh, se aplicaría lo de hacer la cena. No, in this no. case, is when you arrive to your work, but it's late and your boss is like this. Why you come late to work? All right. Uh huh. It's late, so you have to run. Ah. Yes, I don't want to use the Spanish. So, like, come on, English, no, English, everybody. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah. you are late. Late is the opposite of early. Okay. Late is the opposite of early. Early five a.m. Late nine a.m. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, early is 10 to 8 to work, all right, and late is 8 or 5 a.m., right, five minutes late, uh-huh. Sure, for example, I'm reprogram the, the meetings, for example. Okay, I reprogram the meetings, good, mm -hmm. what else, what do you do when you get late to work? I hide from my <laughs> boss. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't hide, right? I report myself to my boss why I am late, right? So, yeah, I report my lateness, right? I report to my boss, okay? I report to my boss. Tell me, Alma. Eh, bueno, a mí me regresarían para la casa. Oh, God. Okay, so 
I have to go. Yeah, that's a good one. I have to return home. Okay. Mm -hmm. They say bye. They dismiss you. Mm -hmm. And they yes, make the discounts. Yeah, they did that that day. Mm. Yeah. Discount or deduct? Discount. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like this. Discount or deduct. What, what, whichever, whichever you want to use. Okay. Discount or deduct. Mm -hmm. Teacher is crazy, but uh, <laughs> I don't drink coffee because it's over. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry? I don't drink coffee uh -huh. because it's over. You don't it's... have coffee anymore? No. Just, you know, I... <laughs> oh, okay, so you have to go to the store <laughs> and get some. Uh, okay, well, well, so sorry to hear that because it's really important. Coffee is very important in life. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, I have to return home. Tell me, Ronaldo. Um, I justification my situation. Okay. Um, let's say in this case, let's try to make the idea. Okay. Let's uh make the word order. So I and then the verb, right? The verb, the action. I explain. Yeah, I explain, okay, explain mm -hmm. my situation. Okay, my situation. Okay. Uh, for example, the uh, traffic or okay. uh, uh, enfermedad, no sé cómo sería. Uh, sickness, sickness. Sí. Mm -hmm. Así, sickness. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, Ronaldo. That's correct. I explain my situation to my boss, right? I need to report to my boss the reason why I am late. Okay, but is there any routinary activity when someone in the company arrives late? Is there any procedure? What is the procedure? You call, right? You call, you are late. Mm -hmm. You call. And here we can say, you call in, right? You call in when you are late. And you give an explanation why you are coming late, right? Okay. But this is really important for us to make a word order. What is the word order here? Subject. Then we have a verb. And then we have the complement, all right? Yes, so I is the subject. Then I have a verb, report. And then I give the complement, right? I express the complement of the action to my boss. Okay, then I have, in this case, have to return complete is the action okay have to return why because have to is an auxiliary here okay this is an obligation auxiliary okay this is to express obligation so i have to return home okay so the verb is complete from here to here all right that's the action action I have to return home. Now, home is the complement of the sentence, right? Now, in this one, I is the subject. Then we have the verb explain. And then I give the complement, my situation to my boss, okay? You come, you call in to say you're late, right? All right, done. Well, I'm going to call the roll, okay? I have to take the attendance. So everybody remember the requirements from Ansiform. You have to turn on your camera and when I call your name, it will say present. 
But this is the question that we are going to answer. When I call your name, you are going to give me a sentence expressing one action, one activity that you do when you get back early home, okay? Uh, vamos a cambiar de orden esta, okay? Y le vamos a poner when you get back home early in the evening, okay? So, what do you do when you get back home early in the evening? A ver, ¿qué hace usted cuando ay, hoy llegue temprano a la casa? Ay, qué chévere, hoy voy a hacer toda la lavada, ¿ya? Yeah? No, no, no. <laughs> o sea, ¿qué es lo que usted hace? <laughs> Ajá. Dígame, Ronaldo. I rest. Okay, I take a rest. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we can say, well, I go to the supermarket, right? Or I don't know what activity you can do. Maybe you can play with your kids or you prepare a very good dinner, right? Uh, tell me, Carlos Ernesto. I, uh, I game play. Uh, again, again, again. I, I game play. But games is video games, right? Yes. Okay, then you have to say, I play I video play games. Video games. Good. I play video games. That's correct. Okay, people. Pero eso sí, estas respuestas me las van a dar cuando escuchen que oyamos su nombre en la asistencia, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a todos pensando ahí. What do you do when you get home early in the evening? Okay, so ready? Please, everybody, remember, you have to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, first say present, and then you give me your activity. Okay, so here we go. Alma y Amilet Hernández de Vázquez. Present teacher. Uh, I asleep. Okay, good. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I can tell about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. I'm sorry, Carlos Edgardo, I could barely hear you. I don't know if you said exercise. Okay. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, so I exercise, body exercises. Ah, uh, okay. So I work out. I do work out. Okay, I do work out. Mm -hmm. Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Present. Uh huh. Tell me, Carlos Ernesto. I play game, video game. Great. Mm -hmm. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Present teacher. I, I see movie. I'm sorry? I see movie. Oh, good. I... Uh, we will say, I watch a movie and it is okay. I see a movie, okay? You can use both, but usually we say, I watch a movie. Uh, Fernando Enrique Martinez Masin. Present teacher. I work with my daughter. With your daughter? Dog, uh -huh. Oh, with your dog. Oh, dog. Okay. Uh, okay. I thought you had a daughter. All right, good. Mm hmm Alicia, Alicia, are you there, Alicia? No, Alicia? Um, one second, please. Allow me just to go there. And... Teacher, Alicia acaba de escribir en el grupo que tiene problemas de internet. Yes, this is what she says, but um, try reconnecting, I will say, right? Thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah, this is because I saw the notification here, so. 
but thank you very much. Here we go. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. Present teacher, I watch TV. Good. Mm -hmm. Gabriela Alicia Hernández Cruz. Present teacher, I watch a movie. Okay, great. Um, Jose, no, Helen Saray Hernández Larín. Miss Helen? Not yet, right? Okay. Jose Adonai Mendoza Aguillon? Present teacher. Okay. Well, uh, when I get back home early, I prepare my dinner. Uh, okay, good. Jose Antonio Campos Rivas? Well, I know you are as a listener, right? Is he, is he connected already? Not yet. Uh, he was kind of connect as a listen. All right. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. I present teacher. A problem the internet. Do you have a problem? Oh, okay. But did you listen what we are doing? Uh, yes, the question, yes. okay. Uh-huh. So what, uh, was that your sentence? Okay, Juan Carlos, oh. estamos dando una respuesta a la pregunta que qué hace usted, what do you do? Cuando usted llega temprano a su casa después del trabajo, when you get back home early in the evening. Ah, uh, I sleep. Oh, okay, okay, that's a good answer too. <laughs> Great. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Isabel. Oh. Maybe she's just a listener at the moment, right? Okay. Marta Alicia Rivera Sos. Oh, she's the one, right? Who was with the problem? The connection problem? Yes. Okay, well. Okay, no problem, Isabel. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ronaldo Josue Guerrero Hernandez. Present teacher, uh, I have two situations. Uh, my first situation is uh, um, wash my my pants or my t-shirts. I wash my t-shirt. Okay, uh, my second situation is I watch TV or I watch Netflix. Okay, well, you're my team, yeah. <laughs> okay. I watch, I watch Twitter. Oh, okay. So any social media, any movie uh, channel. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay, now let's see. Uh, Rosa Estela Polanco Garcia. Present teacher. And I'm clean my room. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, Samuel Eduardo Araniva Sánchez. Samuel. He's a listener at the moment, I think, right? Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. 
present teacher. I do pull ups on my multifunctional bard. You do pull, pull ups. Uh huh. Pull uh -huh. ups. So you have bars in in your in your house. Oh my god! Yes, so it is, teacher. You, you, oh, all right. <laughs> okay. I, nice. <laughs> I admire that, but maybe I'm not going to okay, join your team. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but that's great. That's great. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Oh, I see Samuel Araniva over there. Stephanie and then Samuel, okay? Uh, Stephanie, not yet? No. Okay, Samuel, tell me. Hola, perdón, este... Eh, me acabo de conectar y oí, oí que dijo Samuel Eduardo, pero dijo Sánchez. No era... Did I say Sánchez? Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's Araniva Galvez. Ajá, sí, sí, por eso dije, soy oh. yo. Es otra... Oh, sorry. Ok, my apologies. Pero por eso no le contesté, me quedé con la duda. Oh, ok, well. Now, we want to listen what do you do when you get home eh, early in the evening. Okay, um, I watch in TV. Um, okay, I watch. I watch, watch. TV. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, um, thank you. Now, uh, let's see, Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Okay, Veronica, you can add to the WhatsApp group through the link. Did you receive the link in the okay. comment? All right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, please tell us, Veronica, what do you do when you get home early in the evening? I maybe I go to the supermarket. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, people. Who's missing? Who uh I think I said everybody, okay? I mentioned everyone, right? So let's continue. Let's continue because this is really interesting, right? So what do you do when you get back home early in the evening? Uh -huh. So let's look at the question. Let's look at the question again. And let's see that we are using some time expressions. We are using early. We are using in the evening, okay? Those are time expressions. And it starts with in, right? In. And the last one, we had some time expressions too, right? Late, okay? Let's see this other one. Early on your day off. Oh, okay. Then those are expressions of time. This is... um uh, topic we want to study because in English they use different prepositions or words that goes with each time expression and if we don't use them correctly they are going to notice okay they are going to notice so what do you do when you get back home early in the morning some of you said I um you say, I prepare my dinner, I wash my t-shirts. I think your t-shirts are, are your uniform, I, I think. is that, I mean, is your uniform uh, compound by t-shirts and any specialty? I don't know. Uh, any special dress code? Uh, who was the one who told me? I want to remember. Ronaldo, right? Yeah. Ronaldo said that you wash your t-shirts, right? I are wash, they? I wash my t-shirts. Uh -huh. I, I think, are they uh, part of your uniform? Uh, yes, uniform. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, nice. I, I wash my t-shirts. 
other said I watch a movie and other says I sleep. Este de I sleep, I think, yo creo que podríamos decir porque no nos dormimos de un solo, ¿verdad? Sino que Are tenemos right? que despertamos. Ajá, sí, o podríamos decir como una siesta, ¿verdad? Um, a ver. It could be like, I take a nap, right? I take a nap, right? Tomo una siesta. I sleep in a shortly time, okay? Short time. So I sleep, it's good. Okay, I sleep. I take a nap. That's good, okay? But you can use either. Is there any question so far? How to answer these kind of uh, questions? Remember, these are routinary activities. Teacher. Routine activities. Tell me, Marta Alicia. Hey, welcome. I was uh, waiting for eh, you, Marta Alicia. Lo siento, teacher, porque tenía problemas para conectarme porque voy de camino. Oh. Eh, no sé si me pone al tanto de lo que estamos haciendo, por favor. Ok, estamos viendo routine activities. Ahorita estábamos contestando esas preguntas en donde estamos eh, compartiendo ideas. Eso fue como para agarrar así como el calentamiento, ¿verdad? Ahorita vamos ya al tema. El tema del día de hoy, the topic for today, is... One second. Time expressions. Okay. Time expressions. Time can be any word that expresses time. A ver, ¿qué palabras se les vienen a la mente cuando voy en time? Time. Time out. Morning. Morning. Okay, the morning. Morning. Good. Uh huh. Minutes. What other words? Minutes. Um, Good. Minutes. Mm -hmm. Hours. 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 Yes. Hours. hours. Mm -hmm. Seconds. Seconds. Watch. The watch. Yes. Watch. Mm -hmm. El tiempo también sería. Exactly. Right. Time. Mm -hmm. Time. Mm -hmm. The watch. The watch. The watch. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, is pace, uh, today, uh, future. Okay, today, it's a very good word. Today, for the present. And for future, there are others. In future, it's a time word, too. So, great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, you said tomorrow, if I'm not wrong, right? Yes. Okay, tomorrow. yes. Mm -hmm. Time expressions are referring to time, right? Months, days, years, weeks. Um, I don't know, you can say decades, uh, seasons, special dates, the date. Mm. And there are other expressions we need to learn just to place in time El the clima. actions we do. The weather, okay, mm -hmm. the weather. The weather, it's because of the uh, seasons, right? Maybe we refer to spring fall or autumn and winter spring so those are time expressions too because they are placed on the calendar right the calendar and there are special or, or specific dates that these occur all right now time expressions this is our topic for today time expression so we are going to divide the day we're going to divide the day into three 
uh, principle or main parts, remember? On our time expressions, we're going to find early in the morning and late in the afternoon, right? Or in the evening, or maybe at night will be late. Remember, in the time expressions, we need to include these words in, at, on, in, at, on. In Spanish, solo decimos en, ¿verdad? Estas tres significan en, sí, en la mañana, en la tarde, bueno, en la noche. So, solo decimos en y no nos preocupamos si vamos a usar en inglés si tenemos que preocuparnos. Tenemos que usar tres palabras distintas. Me podrían decir, teacher, ¿y cómo hacemos la diferencia para saber cuál va con cuál? Me temo. I'm afraid that I have bad news for you. <ríe> Tengo algunas malas noticias. No, no son malas noticias. Pero eh, la única forma es memorizar o tener en cuenta que hay frases ya establecidas. ¿Ok? Entonces, aprendamos no solo la preposición in, at, on, sino que aprendamos la frase completa, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo les digo, ¿cómo se dice en la mañana? In the morning, ¿verdad? Aprendamos que se dice in the morning. Y así nos vamos a dejar de preocupar si va con in, con at o con on, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cómo se dice en la mañana? In the morning. ¿Cómo se dice al mediodía? At noon, ¿ok? At noon. ¿Cómo se dice en la tarde? In the afternoon. Okay? In the afternoon. ¿Cómo se dice en la tardecita, en esa transición de la tarde-noche? In the evening. Evening. In the evening. ¿Y cómo se dice en la noche? At night. At night. A medianoche. At midnight. At midnight. En la madrugada, at dawn, ¿ok? At dawn. No aparece aquí, aparece en la otra lista, ¿ok? Pero recordemos, always remember, in, at, on, try to memorize the complete phrase. It will be easier for you, ¿ok? It will be a easier. So, these are time expressions during the day. One day, ¿ok? We can count the days saying every day, day after day, okay? Every day, you see? Every day, no day missing, no day missing. No falta ningún día, every day. Every day. Look at how we write this down. Separated, separated, okay? Every day, time expression, Separated every day. All right. Well, now we know the time expressions, but we want to make the um, the parts we need or, or the words we need to build an expression. Okay, we are talking about routine activities. Routine activities, remember? So now let's see. <clears throat> we use activities saying verbs. Remember this? Okay. Which are the verbs here? Which are the verbs? ¿Cuáles son los verbos? Which are the verbs or the actions? The red words, right? The red words. These are for I, you, we, and they. Mm -hmm. Now, if I ask you, for example, well, actually in the present simple, we need to conjugate the verb, okay? We need to conjugate the verb. So now we know the time expression. Now let's talk about the verbs. What happened with the verb in the sentence? All right, wakes up. Why with the letter S? Ah, because this is for he, she, it. En español tenemos ocho formas, ¿verdad? Yo, eh, pongamos uno fácil acá, vamos a ver. Yo escribo reportes, right? 
tú escribes. Ah, cambia la forma en la conjugación. Él escribe. Ah, ok, cambia la conjugación. La palabra completa. Entonces, quiere decir que así como en español cambian esas formas, en inglés hay una variación. Para que lo comprendamos de esta manera, la variación para él, ella y eso, o la cosa, o cualquier situación, sería que le tenemos que agregar una letra S. Si usted no le agrega la S, o la ES, o la IES, al verbo, cuando usted está hablando en tiempo presente, cuando se refiere a lo que él, ella, o esa cosa hacen, entonces... Es como que esté diciendo mmm, el comer. Que okay, si yo no le pongo la S, el levantar temprano. Mm, no, ¿verdad? No, no suena bien. Entonces, necesitamos ponerle la forma correcta de conjugación. Y la forma correcta de conjugación para la tercera persona es, a ver, ¿quién me dice? Who knows? A ver, ¿quién me dice? The third person. The third person, ajá, ajá. We add. We add. Wakes. We add a letter S to the verb, okay? Or an ES or IES. Remember, there are rules, right? There are rules. So let's look at how we build or we order the words to express the activities we do every day or in any time of the day. So let's see. In affirmative, we use I get up early on Mondays. Ah, because the subject is I, okay? The subject is I. I leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays. Okay, the verb is just in the base form, okay? I leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays. All right. The negative form, well, we need an auxiliary verb. I don't get up early on Mondays. I don't leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays, okay? Now let's look at you or we. You get up early on Mondays. We leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays, okay? And the negative, we use don't. You don't get up early on Mondays. They don't leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays. All right, now let's listen to you reading this, okay? So let's look at Juan Carlos Gavidia, please. Read the affirmatives. I get up early on Mondays. Yes, only the affirmatives. Uh, I live in home uh, seven. A M. A M. A M. A M. Oh, Mondays. Very good. Thank you very much. Veronica, please read the negatives. I don't get up early on Mondays. I don't leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays. Great. Okay. Now, let's read these others. Gabriela, please, the affirmative ones. Uh, you get up early on Mondays. We leave home at 7 a.m. on Mondays. Very good. Now, the negative ones, please, Fernando Enrique. You don't. Get up early Monday. They don't. They don't leave home. Seven a. And one Monday. On Mondays. Okay. On Monday. Now, let's remember that when we talk about the activities that the third person does, we use auxiliary verb does because that's the third person form of the auxiliary and we add not for the negative right but for the affirmative we add s or es so let's see he writes letters right she checks uh, i'm sorry he checks his email 
she checks her email. Um, my boss organizes meetings. The secretary schedules appointments. Uh, the accountant writes a report. Okay. Your partner balances the account. Okay. Mm, the janitor takes out the garbage and so on, right? He cleans up the sales area. She sends emails. So for the affirmative, we add a letter S. So let's read. She writes letters. Ah, there is a time expression here. Monthly, 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 mensualmente, right? She writes letters monthly. All right, this is the affirmative way. We add a letter S. Agregamos la letra S al verbo, ¿verdad? En la negativa, in the negative, we just add the auxiliary verb with the word not. She doesn't write letters monthly. He doesn't check his email. All right? So now, please, Alma, read the affirmative. And let's see, Saul, please read the negative ones. Okay. She writes letters monthly. The negative sentence is, she doesn't read letters monthly, and he doesn't check his email. All right. Uh, you say mm -hmm. write, okay? No read, right. write. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now, notice this. Ah, in the affirmative, we add letter S, but in the negative, we don't. Look, write. En la negativa no le vamos a agregar S. ¿Por qué no le agregamos S? Porque ya lleva el auxiliar doesn't, ¿verdad? Entonces, la regla dice que este no debe llevar S porque ya tenemos el auxiliar que nos hace la tercera persona. She doesn't write. He doesn't check. Okay. Is there any question so far? I have a question, teacher. Tell me. For example, exit the limit bird and the different verbs no at es or s is for example hey hey i have any she has oh yes that's the exception know. correct uh, exceptions mm -hmm. what is the number the different verbs or, or is limit 5 10 11 no actually it's not it's only that one, okay? It's oh, only half, uh-huh. Only half changes completely in the third uh, person form of the verb because it's half and then you change it to has. At the moment, we are just noticing that letter S is added, okay? Letter S, letter S, remember, letter S. But there are some rules for spelling, Okay, to form the third person. A ver, ¿quién recuerda las reglas? Así, rapidito, a ver. Las reglas de ortografía, digamos, para formar la tercera the verb, persona. The mm -hmm. verb finish in letter, letter S and add A, S. And again, 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 again. Uh -huh. <laughs> the verb finish in S, uh -huh. at uh, ES. At oh, ES. yes, correct. If the verb ends in a letter S or in a double S, right, or in SH or in an O, a letter X, then we add ES. Let's yes. look at the examples. Watch, watches. I watch, he watches. Okay. I watch, he watches. Ah, entonces quiere decir que a los que terminan en estas letras, S, S, H, O, X, la CH también, ¿verdad? Como watch, ¿ok? Eh, le agregamos ES y se pronuncia, ¿ok? Se pronuncia. No solamente vamos a decir watch, no. Vamos a decir watches, ¿ok? Guess, guesses. Finish. Finishes. Go, goes. Okay. Fix, fixes. Mm -hmm. There is another verb that I want you to notice, and it is do. What happened with this verb? 
lo acabamos de ver por allá. Cuando está como un verbo principal, obviamente, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando está como un verbo principal, lo vamos a hallar a él solito, ¿sí? Vamos a hallar, él hace la tarea, he does his homework, ¿ok? Lo vamos a hallar solito. Pero cuando sirve de auxiliar, lo vamos a hallar en negativo y con un verbo. Okay, así lo vamos a encontrar en las eh, eh, oraciones, ¿verdad? Do cuando es principal y para la tercera persona es does. Do or does como verbo principal y también lo podemos usar como el auxiliar del, del presente simple. Bien, ahora veamos la diferencia acá. Go se pronuncia con O, ¿sí? Go. Long sound, go. This is long sound too, and it's goes. Look, goes, goes. But this is not pronounced that way. Do. This is like an U, right? Do, do. And this is not dos. This is das. Look, das. So let's pronounce these four verbs, okay? Go. Goes. Everybody, please repeat. Go, goes. Go, 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 goes. Go, 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 Do, does. Do, does. Do, does. Do, does. Do, does. Correct. So let's uh, be careful with the pronunciation. Okay, when you pronounce these two verbs, you should be careful, all right? Remember, do, does, do, does, all right. We have another rule, okay? The verb ending in a consonant, any consonant, right? Any consonant with a letter Y, Okay, with a letter Y. Then we change the letter Y to I E S. Let's look at the examples. Study, study, studies. Okay, no decimos studies. Aquí no la pronunciamos así. Aquí pronunciamos un poquito larga la I. Studies. Okay. Mm -hmm. I study, he studies. I carry. He carries. I fly. It flies. Okay? I fly. It flies. The fly, right? Hey, vamos a ver. Hagamos una cosa. If you t-shirt, you can huh? fly. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> course. <laughs> but look, look. I will ask you, uh, a ver, una pregunta. Esta es una pregunta capciosa. Si no la adivinamos ahorita, les queda de tarea. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, adivinanza. Sí, sí, sí. Bye. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. What's the difference between a bird and a fly? Ok. What's the difference between a bird and a fly? This is a joke. Ok. Esta es una adivinanza chiste. All right. What's the difference between a bird and a fly? Everybody thinking like this, like the one over there, right? What's the difference between a bird and a fly? A bird and a fly, right? Mm -hmm. Fly, mosca. Do you have any idea? Is there anyone who has any idea? ¿Alguien tiene alguna idea? Yo, yo no, teacher. No, no ideas, ok. Ajá. Entre la... Ajá. Fly is the mosca, dijo, dicho. Yes, ajá. Yes, it is, a mosca. Una ave y una mosca. Ajá, ajá. What's the difference uh, between a bird and a fly? Uh-huh. Uh, the, 
the fly is an insect. The fly is an insect, okay. Mm -hmm. and yes, the it is. Beer is a animal. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe the. I, I don't know. Uh, do you say uh, que tienen alas? Uh, has Pero wings. Ah, okay, with feathers. Has feathers and wings. Hmm? Okay. Try to say that in English. I know you can, Veronica. I know you <laughs> okay. can. So let's try. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. The flies. Sure. The difference is the bird eats a fly. <laughs> <laughs> the bird eats a fly. Oh, it it's well a fly. Mm -hmm. Okay, it flies. It flies. Mm -hmm. Well, mm, yeah, but it's not that the answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, you can continue thinking about it. Teacher, I have an idea. Tell me, tell me, Jose. The the bird fly and the fly flies. <laughs> great, great answer. Uh -huh. The bird flies. Uh -huh. And the fly uh -huh. flies. 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 Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a very good answer. I like your answer. Yeah, but this is kind of close to the answer I know, okay? Está cerquita de la respuesta que yo me sé. A ver, por ahí va la cosa, por ahí va la cosa. Y todos ahorita sí, dándole vuelta. Bueno, ahí les queda ahorita, ahí les queda ahorita y sigamos con la clase, okay? Vamos a ver. Eh... Ajá, ajá. Uh, I I had a uh, one idea. Idea. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, idea. I'm sorry. Uh, um, I a bird can fly, uh, but um, <laughs> I think I'm a bird. Yes, that's correct, and that is the answer. Yes, okay. yes, that is the answer. Yeah. Okay. okay, the answer is that the bird, I mean, the fly, it can fly, all right? But the, bir okay. uh, the bird, um, I'm sorry, the bird flies, but the fly uh, yeah. can't bird. Uh-huh, can't bird. Uh-huh, that's good, that's good. One point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have almost a 10 now. It, 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 that's a very hard, that's a very hard question. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, the answer is that uh, uh, the bird can fly. Can fly. Uh, but but um, the fly can't bird. No, bird. Yeah, this is the answer. All right. <laughs> the bird can fly, but the fly can't bird. Yeah. It's not a verb, right? <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. Bueno, ya nos divertimos un ratito. Vamos a ver entonces. Continuando, decíamos que verbs ending in a consonant like B, C, D, F, any consonant, but it goes with the letter Y, then in a syllable, right? And it's the ending syllable. So uh, you change the letter Y into I, E, S, right? You change I for I, I'm sorry, Y for I and add E, S. So you see fly flies, okay? With this, con estas tres reglas, hay que tener cuidado con los plurales, ¿verdad? Los plurales no tienen nada que ver con esto que estamos viendo de la tercera persona. Se parecen las reglas, casi que son las mismas, pero con nombres, no con verbos, ¿ok? Con los nombres, no con los verbos, porque los verbos no los podemos hacer plural. Los nombres son los que hacemos plural, ¿verdad? Cuando contamos las cosas, por ejemplo, contamos cell phone, cell phones. Agregamos letra S, ¿verdad? Pero eh, 
Eso lo vamos a ir viendo poco a poco. Por el momento, verbs for the third person, you have to add letter S, ES, or IES, okay? So now, let's go and see this. Estamos armando el vocabulario para que podamos construir ya las expresiones, eh, las oraciones, utilizando también expresiones de tiempo de las actividades de rutina, ¿ok? Daily routine activities. So, if you remember, if you remember, we started this short, I'm sorry, short table. For example, with that, we mm, can have a clue. Okay, podemos tener una pista. We can have a clue that the expressions that take at is precise time. For example, I can say in three o'clock. Mm -mm, it's not correct because it's a precise time. I have to use at. At three o'clock. At 10.30 a.m. At noon. At dinner time. At bedtime. At sunrise. At sunset. At the moment. Okay, but when I use in is for months, years, decades, centuries, seasons. For example, in November, in November, in summer, in the summer, in the 1990s, in the 90s, in the next century, in the ice age, in the past, in the future. All right, we use on when we refer to days and dates. Days and dates. Dates for special events are included in this, okay? When we say day, for example, Independence Day, we say Mother's Day. And one that I had today with a mistake, it was mistaken in the question I presented before, and it was on days off, okay? On the days off, on the weekend, they are two days, okay? On the weekend. Van a encontrar que en el inglés británico se dice at weekend, ¿ok? Pero nosotros en americano decimos on weekend. So we can say, for example, on Sunday, on Tuesdays, on, the, on March the 6th, on December the 25th of 2010, right? It's specific date and it is complete date. Fecha completa, ¿verdad? Días específicos o cualquier día de la semana, ¿verdad? Pero todo lo que lleve días va a ser con on. Quiere decir que días va a predominar en todas las expresiones de tiempo. Por ejemplo, si decimos um, temprano en el día, ¿ok? Temprano en el día, eh, yo voy a decir on, no voy a decir eh, at, no voy a decir otra expresión. ¿Cuándo va a predominar at? Cuando es un precise time. Cuando yo me refiera a una hora exacta en ese día. Ah, entonces sí. Entonces esas son las pequeñas variaciones que vamos a ir notando, ¿ok? Bien. Let's go back with... Okay. Tell me. I have a question. Tell me. Is, is correct uh, what do you say in this moment? Uh, no. Well, actually, that's when you are making an emphasis, okay? Uh, yes, it's correct in a context, in a specific mm -hmm. context. For example, I can say at the moment, en el momento, o por el momento, cuando sea como ese significado, como ese concepto. In this moment, you are expressing an emphasis for this very moment, okay? So then you say mm -hmm. in, the thing are happening in, the things are happening in that specific time. So yes, you can use in mm -hmm. the moment, but you have to make the difference of the contexts, okay? Mm -hmm. Los contextos pueden okay. diferir. Pero mm -hmm. si, si nos regimos por la regla, no vamos a fallar. Pero socialmente y la evolución del lenguaje pues nos hace sentir como una necesidad de decir in en vez de at. Lo vamos a ir aprendiendo con el tiempo, pero sí es correcto, Rosa Estela. Sí es correcto cuando okay. hacemos el énfasis. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. you take the assist in this moment. The oh, great. 
Thank you. And that's correct. I will take the attendance in this very moment. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, then. Now, I will ask you a question. Okay. When do you have lunch? Okay. When do you have lunch? This is the question that you are going to answer. Okay. When do you have lunch? Entonces, construyamos la respuesta. I have lunch y ustedes me dicen si es un tiempo preciso, si es un tiempo un aproximado, ¿ok? O ustedes sabrán su respuesta, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Construyámosla con sujeto verbo y en el complemento pongamos una time expression. Usando in or not, right? Vamos a ver. Alma y Amilet Hernández de Vázquez. Un mute. Alma. Yes, you're muted. I return uh, in the afternoon. Okay, I have lunch. Uh -huh. I have lunch. Uh, I have long and I return in the afternoon. Okay, when I return in the afternoon. Okay, very good. Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. I return in the afternoon, I drink coffee. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Now, Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano, when do you have lunch? Uh, I have... Uh... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you can say around or if you have a scheduled, um, I'm sorry, a schedule, then you can say at noon, in the afternoon, at 2 p.m., at 12 p.m. When do you have lunch? Uh, uh... One o'clock. Okay, then you have to say, I have lunch at one o'clock p.m., right? Armemos la bien la oración, ajá. I have a uh, lunch at one o'clock. P.m., very good. All right. Yeah. Débora y Amilet Campos Cortés. Es que venía en el camino y no entendí si se te me puede explicar, por favor. Y permite que me quites. Ok, when do you have lunch? When? Ajá. Uh -huh. I have lunch in 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. at 2 p.m. Very good, Deborah. And I apologize, I didn't see your message. No vi su mensaje antes, no porque hubiera participado también en la anterior. I'm sorry. Okay, I didn't see your message. Okay. Okay. So, here we go, guys. Let's continue with the list. Fernando Enrique Martinez Macín. I had lunch daily at 1 p.m. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But daily will be... Okay, it's better if you say every day. Okay. Porque, vaya, mire, si decimos daily es como decir diariamente, pero diariamente en este caso daily da la idea de que se hace una vez al día. Pues sí, eso es lógico. Ahora, entonces, usted tal vez querrá decir todos los días, ¿verdad? Every day. Entonces, armémosla bien y pongamos, I have lunch, dígame la hora, at, y luego me dice, every day. Vamos a ver, armémosla, Fernando. I have lunch. I had lunch. At. At. at, at 1 p.m., right? 1 p.m. Ajá. Every day. Every day. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. A ver, hoy sí se le quedó. A ver, dígame, digámoslo de regreso, Fernando. Usted solito. <laughs> okay. 
I had lunch. Yeah. At? At. At uh, one p.m. every day. Great. Excellent, Fernando. Yeah. Now, Fernando Noel Mauricio Cintigo. When do you have lunch, Fernando? Present teacher. Um, I have lunch at mm, mid at noon. All right, good. Mm -hmm. Now, Gabriela Lisette Hernandez Cruz. I have lunch at 1.30 p.m. Great. Helen Saray Hernandez Larín. Have a lunch at 12 p.m. At 1? At 12. Oh, at 12. All right, at 12. Mm -hmm. 12 o'clock. O'clock. Oh, okay, there you go. Thank you, Helen. Jose Adonai Mendoza Aguillon, when do you have lunch? I have a lunch at noon. Great. Jose Antonio Campos Rivas. I don't know if he's connected already. Oh, okay. Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. I have a lunch. At? At, at we, I work uh, every day. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat? I have a lunch, what is the asterisk? I'm trying to get it. A ver, a ver, a ver. Construyamos la, la oración. Yo creo que hay algo que no le estoy tomando, no le estoy escuchando. A ver, veamos. I have lunch. ¿Y luego qué me dijo? I have a lunch. At. Ajá. Y. Every. <laughs> o sea, usted me quiere decir la hora, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? La hora. ¿A qué hora usted come su almuerzo? Uh, I have a lunch at uh, 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Great. That's correct. I have lunch. At 1 p.m. And you wanted to say in the afternoon that it is correct. I didn't get the 1 p.m. before. So I have lunch at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay. I have lunch at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. A ver, Juan Carlos, digámoslo. I have a lunch at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Yes, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's continue with Maria Isabel Rivas Guevara. Well, I know she's just a listener right now. Okay. Now let's continue. Um, Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa. Uh, I have lunch no. at no. 1 p.m. No. in the every day. Perdón, every day. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good, Marta Alicia. Now let's look at Ronaldo. Josué Guerrero Hernández. Um, the sign answer de Juan Carlos. I have lunch in 1 p.m. 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Okay. Every day? Every day. All um, right. Every day. Okay. Good. Rosa Estela Polanco Garcia. Present teacher. I have lunch 
Eh, at noon. Good, good. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Um, I have a lunch um, at 12 um, every day. Okay, great, great. Saul Alvarez Pacheco. You sure? I, I have two options. For example, I usually use, I have a lunch around 12 and 1 p.m. every day. Or, or is correctly, for example, I have lunch at 12 and 1 p.m. And correct? no, in that case, you will you will have to say between one and two. Oh, okay, right? between between okay. one and two, or around one p.m. or around two p.m. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is that maybe you have your sch your schedule at one, and then mm -hmm. you finish at two. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, teacher. Okay, so you have your lunch from one to two. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, but it's not an exact time, right? No. Ah, uh, okay, now I get it. Yeah, it's you can around. say between, you can say around. Yeah, you can say okay, around. Uh -huh, but you don't have to say around one and then you have to say two. No, around one, mm -hmm. around two, right? Okay, okay, thanks, teacher. All right. Oh, there is another way to say that. You could say, for example, around one or two. Okay, or. They use or. Yes, uh -huh. or around two. one or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Miss Stefan is not present today. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we miss her. Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldaña. Present teacher. I have lunch afternoon. Okay. Afternoon separated? Yes. Like this. Afternoon separated? Yes. Okay. Well, this is very interesting. Uh, it's not in the afternoon, right? It's just after no, noon. No. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. So, tell me. Uh, Aha. Es que afternoon separado. Quiere decir después del mediodía, ¿ok? Separado, es una expresión diferente, ¿sí? Eh, pero afternoon es tarde, unido, ¿ok? La tarde. Después del mediodía, pero en la tarde. Puede ser desde las 12 con un minuto hasta las 5 de la tarde. Entonces, son dos cosas diferentes, dos conceptos distintos. Separado y unido. Separado, después del mediodía. Y luego, afternoon, unido, es la tarde, ¿ok? Vamos bien, ¿verdad? Solo quiero hacerles un comentario muy importante y es like an announcement. Es como un anuncio, ¿sí? Eh, vamos a poner un paréntesis de comerciales ahorita, ¿verdad? Fíjense que eh, estamos tratando de que... Uh, la puntualidad y eh, la puntualidad tanto a la hora de comenzar como a la hora de terminar se ha respetado, ¿verdad? Que todos mostremos ese valor acá, ¿verdad? La puntualidad. Y quiero felicitar a los que logran entrar a las 8. Yo sé que muchos vienen de sus trabajos y llegan corriendo a conectarse y todo, pero procuremos porque nuestro horario es de las 8. A las 10, fíjense que la asistencia en el sistema de Zoom se cuenta por minutos. Y en todo caso, en Safor, en su sistema, cuando entra la información de que estamos nosotros conectados, les aparece como minutos, ¿verdad? No les aparece de que usted llegó. 
O sea, que si usted solo estuvo 15 minutos y se fue, solo 15 minutos le cuenta, ¿verdad? Entonces, hagamos el esfuerzo y mentalicemos que esta es una clase importante. Esto es a nivel superior de desarrollo profesional y es parte del de enriquecimiento de nuestra carrera. Entonces, yo quiero hacerles eh, conciencia, ¿verdad?, de que no faltemos y que estemos eh, conectados los 120 minutos de la clase, por favor. Es una observación que nos han mandado. Eh, así que, por favor, este grupo se tiene que destacar, ¿verdad?, en que somos responsables y somos puntuales, que no nos salimos antes ni que entramos tarde, ¿verdad?, sino que entramos a la hora y nos vamos más tarde si es posible. <risa> o sea, bueno, nos toca irnos más tarde por la session one on one, ¿verdad?, pero eh, son solo 10 minutos después de la hora. Así que yo voy a procurar... Sacar los cabal a las 10, pero por favor, hay que entrar a las 8 en punto para que de un solo entremos, ¿verdad? Con el contenido. Dígame, Débora. Ayer, ayer, intenté, ayer intenté conectarme a la, la plataforma, al módulo 2. Eh, hice el ingreso con mi correo y con la contraseña, uh -huh. pero al momento. No sé si es la señal que tenemos en ese instante, lo he intentado por mi trabajo, pero me decía de que no estaba ese formulario. Sí, no, no estaba activada el día de ayer. Eran varios del grupo que no tenían activada la cuenta. Entonces, ahora ya pueden intentar, ya casi todos los tienen, ¿verdad? Ya no me falta nadie más. Así que debe de intentar, Débora, otra vez el día de hoy ingresar para que pueda comenzar con sus tareas. Esa es otra cosa de puntualidad, fíjense, que nos toman por sistema también eh, la responsabilidad de que usted ha cumplido con su tarea. Así que eh, les suplico que eh, todos en equipo, ¿verdad?, nos mantengamos eh, siendo puntuales. Dígame, Ronaldo. Ok, después de clase lo hago. Ok. Sí, es una consulta con las tareas, ya que usted menciona lo de las tareas. Sí. El día de ayer fue la primera clase, entonces yo hice el día de ahora la tarea número uno, que sería correspondiente a la de ayer. Exacto, por Correcto. la situación no hay ningún problema porque no teníamos activado, ¿verdad? Ayer la mayoría la cuenta. Ya a partir de hoy pues hay que procurar, terminamos clase, terminamos tarea, terminamos clase, terminamos tarea. Pero usted puede ah. trabajar en avanzado, usted puede seguir... Si se emocionó, continúe, ¿verdad? Hasta donde usted quiera llegar. No hay problema. Nadie le va a detener. Lo que sí, pues que no se atrase, eso sí. Pero que se adelante, bienvenido es. Dígame, Carlos Edgardo. También. Sí, sí, sé que a mí también este, no me han enviado ni, me, ni correo ni mensaje sobre la inscripción del aula. Así que estoy pendiente todavía. ¿Todavía no le ha llegado? ¿Hay alguien más sí. que no le ha llegado todavía? Eh, dice que también a uh, mi compañero de trabajo, que hoy casualmente no se conectó, tampoco. José Antonio, dijo, ¿verdad? Le... Ajá, hoy le pregunté okay. en la tarde, me dijo que tampoco le había llegado la invitación. Ok, ahorita los voy a enviar de una sola vez para que sea primera hora que miren esto. Teacher, en mi caso no me llegó ninguna confirmación tampoco, Carlos, pero no sé si has probado con tus credenciales anteriores, porque ahora sí me apareció el, el segundo módulo. Ah, eso es cierto. Gracias, Saúl. Es cierto. Eh, todos los que ya estuvieron el primer módulo acá en inglés corporativo y ya tienen creada una cuenta, pueden ingresar con el, las mismas credenciales. Lo que tienen que ver es que estén enrolados ya en el módulo 2, que les aparezca el módulo 2 ahí. ¿Usted ya probó, Carlos Edgardo? Y este... En lo más entrar no me aparece ninguno, solo el módulo 1 que tenía. Ah, ok. Pero ahí, ahí, y probé con algunos de, que me aparecían del módulo 2, pero me decía que no estaban disponibles. Ah, ok, entonces sí, sí. necesito. Esos parecen como del 2017, Carlos, yo probé, pero eh, hoy me apareció ya el módulo 2, teacher, incluso ya puede ser la primera actividad. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Vázquez Espino es, ¿verdad, Carlos? Sí, sí. Ok. Y el otro es José Antonio Campos. Ok. Ok. 
Ok. Ahorita ya lo envié para Tech Support y que nos auxilien en eso. Ok. A primera hora, primeramente Dios van a ver este, este mensaje. Ok. Oh, ok. Comprendo. Eh, <coughs> sí. Hay varios que van a estar... I don't know where. Sí, sir, Diga, tell uh -huh. eh, Te la digo en español porque <ríe> es mucho más fácil. Eh, hay compañeros, bueno, yo tengo una compañera de trabajo que ella ha estado en otro grupo. O sea, pero desde que hasta ahorita, ellos iniciaron antes que nosotros, unas semanas antes. Sí terminar igual una semana antes que nosotros, pero resulta de que ahorita ya me dice que ni siquiera la invitación ni nada ni ha confirmado entonces no sé si es que algunos módulos todavía están en espera para iniciar entonces. para iniciar <coughs> perdón, para iniciar eh, ella hizo ella hizo su primer módulo acá con nosotros ella estaba pero como con otra plataforma sino es que hasta luego la plataforma que nosotros utilizamos es diferente uh -huh. segundo a lo que ella me dijo que la misma prueba que hicimos nosotros ya para finalizar el módulo la hicieron pero la hicieron solitos el teacher en ningún momento la ayudó o sea solo estuvo allí ella. y me recuerdo que usted dijo que si en algo nos equivocábamos pues ya va, ya, entonces la... Ah, por la encuesta. No, 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 puede ser alguna situación de cupos. Puede ser alguna situación de cupos. En el grupo de ella puede ser que haya sucedido alguna situación de los, de que se llenaran los cupos o algo así, no sé, alguna situación de recursos humanos. En ese caso tiene que comunicarse directamente con administración, ¿ok? Que se comunique lo más pronto para que la puedan agregar en otro, en otro grupo. Ajá, porque yo le dije a ella y ella me dijo incluso que ella prefería volverse a estar en este grupo porque su teacher era muy temático. Muy, okay. ¿cómo puedo decir? Es donde se dice que entonces le dije, hello, good evening, esta es la clase, y ya, punto. Oh, ok, bueno, well, en ese caso lo que tiene que hacer es llamar a administración o, con, o eh, conectar, bueno, Sí, por, por medio de, de, de recursos humanos, por, ajá, por medio del de recursos humanos, tiene que, que informar, ¿verdad?, que tiene esta participante que se ha quedado sin, sin convocatoria y que solicitan, pues, que se le integren a, a un grupo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Y Débora say, my okay. teacher is very funny. <laughs> Ay, oh, thank you very much. Oh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Okay, guys. Okay. Well, tell me. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, it's about the homework in the Ajá. platform. Okay. Um, well, yo me registré ahora y logré hacer cinco exámenes. My question is, is one exam for the class? Uh, no, it's only one homework for each class. Okay, uh, we have okay. homework one, homework two, and after the class, you, you finish your uh, homework form. But there is no problem. You can uh, work in advance through the whole platform, okay? Okay, mm -hmm. no sé si estaba dormida hace tiempo pasada, pero yo le entendí que eran cinco tareas diarias. Oh, no, 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 no. It's only one homework for each class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's uh, okay. When well, we talk about the five homeworks, it's for the whole week. Okay. Week. Okay. Week. Uh -huh. The unit has five homework. Okay. Homework okay. form. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. A ver, déjenme ingresar yo también a la plataforma para que continuemos con lo de la plataforma y vamos a eh, también a irnos al breakout room y vamos a practicar la conversación del día de ayer para entrar ya a la próxima conversación, ¿ok? Ahora déjenme entrar acá online. Oops. Ok. 
Ok, here we are. Uh -huh. Tenemos en la primera tarea, a ver, vamos a abrir acá para que todos estemos en sintonía. Tengo algunos que este es su primer curso con nosotros, ¿verdad? A ver, ¿quiénes están por primera vez con inglés corporativo? Ay. Ok. Uh, uh, ok. Well, welcome everybody. Ok, welcome to inglés corporativo. Ok, y eh, voy a mostrar la plataforma para que nos ubiquemos un poquito. Vamos a extender los comerciales, ¿verdad? Porque el patrocinio oficial lo requiere. Así. Ah, Pero eh, vamos a mostrar un poquito de cómo es la plataforma y cómo funciona esto. Esto, dígame Fernando, mientras yo pongo esto. Hi teacher, um, yo intenté también este día, de hecho sí pude ingresar con, con las credenciales del módulo 1, pero al ingresar solamente me aparece el módulo 1, todavía no puedo ver nada del módulo 2. Ok, eh, en ese caso, uh -huh. uh, vaya, no sé si vieron el video, ¿vieron el video de cómo activar la cuenta? Sí. Ok, y ahorita usted entró con sus credenciales del mes pas de del módulo pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces, Exacto. en este caso lo que necesita recibir es el email para que pueda confirmar el ingreso. ¿Ya revisó en su email si tiene algún enrollment eh, message? Eh, ayer lo revisé y no tenía nada. Este día no he revisado. Voy a revisar ahorita. Bueno, bueno, sí, porque me dijeron que les iban a dar seguimiento a todos, así que eh, tenemos que descartar que no hayan recibido algo así para volver a hacer reporte, ¿verdad? Dígame, eh, okay. alguien más me levantó la mano, vamos a ver. Yo, teacher, perdón. Dígame, Saúl. Sí, lo que le quiero comentar es que, por ejemplo, en mi caso particular, hasta que me notificaron la persona de soporte que le escribí, ingresé y me inscribí al módulo, entonces me llegó el correo. Si no mm. se inscribe, o sea, si no aparece en la plataforma y no es el enrollment, en la, en la plataforma no le va a aparecer el... No, nunca le llega la notificación hasta después de eso. En mi ah, caso. Ah, ok. No, no. Entonces, sí, Saúl. Es que, mire, la cuestión es que como yo tengo un perfil distinto, ¿verdad? Entonces, no... no Ahorita no recuerdo eh, cómo es el... Si les mandan primero el email o Sí, primero tiene que meterse a la plataforma. Para mí que debe de meterse a la plataforma y poner ahí, ¿verdad? Que va para el segundo modo. Pero no, no, ahí le tiene que aparecer ya de una sola vez cuando eh, usted confirma. Ahí le aparece algo de confirmación. Ahorita no lo recuerdo muy bien. Uh, ¿Cómo eh, a usted le enviaron el email primero? No, teacher. Uh, solo me confirmaron que, que ingresara nuevamente y probara y que ya estaba el, 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 el curso. Y me aparece así justamente en la pantalla ahí en el Zoom mandé una imagen. Creo que ya está cargando. Así me aparece ahora cuando yo ingreso a sesión. Y ya solo me, le di inscribir al curso del módulo 2. Mm, ok. Uh -huh. Y ya entonces, hasta que hice ese proceso, me llegó el correo de, de que estaba eh, inscrito, ¿verdad? En el módulo 2 de confirmación. Bueno, sí, yo hice un reporte general, ahora lo voy a hacer por los que aún les falta. Sería Fernando, sería José Antonio, Carlos Edgardo, eh, me dijo alguien más, Rosa, Estela sí pudo, ¿verdad? Eh, Débora, usted no pudo, ¿verdad? Tampoco, no lo tiene. ¿Quién más no lo tiene? Para poder poner sus nombres de una sola vez. Eh, yo, teacher, todavía no he podido hacerlo. Bien, eh, estamos hablando de Marta Alicia, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, teacher. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, yo paso ese reporte. Dígame, Fernando. Eh, you are muted. Uh, lo, lo siento, teacher. Creo que lo presioné por error. Estoy tratando de, de ver el correo. Creo ah, ok. Fue un error. Ok, no problem. Bien, vamos a explicar un poquito lo de la plataforma para que podamos irnos al breakout room y, y practicar, ¿verdad? Ustedes cuando entran a la plataforma van a encontrar esta primera parte, ¿ok? Cuando ya entran al módulo 2, eh, les va a aparecer sección 1, sección 2, sección 3, sección 4, sección 1, 2, 3 y 4. Cada una tiene su 
eh, tema de acuerdo al manual, ¿verdad? O al programa que Insafor tiene. Luego, pues, usted ahí va a ingresar de acuerdo a la que vamos. Ahorita vamos en sección 1. En section 1, usted le da clic. En la primera ya está subido el video. Aquí van a quedar grabados los videos de cada clase. ¿Ok? Aquí en la plataforma usted encuentra el video y encuentra la tarea. La tarea de cada día. Usted estuvo en clase, hace la tarea. ¿Verdad? Eh, luego, la siguiente clase, que todavía no la tenemos subida porque es la que estamos grabando ahorita. Y luego, pues, hacer la tarea, ¿sí? Luego tenemos video, eh, tenemos tarea. Y así sucesivamente. Si se fijan, son cinco tareas, ¿verdad? Cinco tareas durante toda la unidad. Uno, section one. Luego, pues, tenemos la section two. En la section two vamos a encontrar igual. ¿Verdad? La misma forma de trabajo hasta llegar a la section 4. Después de esta section 2, van a encontrar el midterm test. ¿Ok? Después de la section 2, que sería la tarea 10, ¿verdad? Ustedes van a encontrar el examen. El examen tiene cuatro partes. Acuérdense de eso. No van a hacer solo una porque quedaría incompleto. Tiene que hacer parte 1, parte 2, parte 3 y 4. ¿Ok? Realiza el examen y cuando usted va contestando, contestando, se le va a activar esta parte de abajo que dice enviar. Si lo tiene en inglés, dice submit, ¿verdad? Ahí, enviar y va a ir quedando registrado. Usted puede hacer las tareas todas las veces que usted desee hacerlas. Es decir que si usted se equivocó en una y sabe que se equivocó, pero ya lo envió, no se preocupe. Vuelva a realizarla toda la tarea y le vuelve a dar enviar para que le registre la última calificación, ¿verdad? Ya en la última usted sacó 100, ok, le queda el 100, 25 de 25 o 20 de 20, dependiendo cómo sea cada formulario, ¿verdad? La idea de esta plataforma es que usted pueda practicar hasta aprenderlo, ¿verdad?, a veces dice, ah, es que no entiendo. Hice la tarea, pero no entendí. Vuelva a hacerla para que pueda lograr entenderlo. Y así usted va a ir desarrollando la plataforma. Nadie le va a decir nada porque ya hizo dos, tres, cuatro. No, al contrario. Bienvenido es que usted vaya avanzando, ¿verdad? Usted avance lo más que usted quiera en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ahora, aquí también tenemos... Esta viñeta de progreso en donde ustedes van a ver lo que han realizado. Aquí les van a aparecer unas, un, este es un histograma, ¿verdad? Entonces aquí en la gráfica les va a ir apareciendo hasta que lleguen a 100. Es decir, Homework 1 se refiere a las 5. Entonces, sube un poquito cuando va con la 5, con la 1, ¿verdad? Sube otro poquito cuando va en la 2, otro poquito y así sucesivamente hasta que llega a a la número 5, usted completa su 100% de la unidad 1. Ahora, de la unidad 2 igual y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? No se vayan a afligir de que hay unas que son grises. No quiere decir que no la ha hecho. El color es así. Pero media vez diga 100% es que lo realizó, ¿verdad? Si le aparece en blanco, eso sí aflija si vaya y hágalo, ¿verdad? Eh, eso es con respecto del progreso, esta viñeta que está acá. Luego tenemos esta viñeta de discussion. En esta viñeta de discusión lo que hacemos es que yo pongo actividades ya sea para trabajar en grupo o eh, aquí yo doy la indicación de cómo se trabaja, ¿verdad? Son actividades extra para practicar listening, para practicar... Eh, Speaking también, pero más que todo el writing, porque aquí usted va a presentar, aquí le van a aparecer todas las actividades que vamos poniendo, ¿verdad? Y usted las va realizando y va quedando registrado. Luego, eh, tenemos el Student's Manual. Aquí ustedes van a enco encontrar el libro de trabajo. ¿okay? Este es el libro de trabajo para el módulo 2. 
Usted lo puede descargar para imprimir, lo puede usar con un editor de PDF si usted quiere, ¿verdad? Lo puede descargar y aquí usted va a encontrar todo el material. Aquí dentro de este manual, en la página 6 y la página 7, ustedes encuentran un mapita. Este mapita es el mapa de todo el curso, de todo el libro. Entonces, ustedes miran el tema de la unidad, los objetivos de la unidad y también el vocabulario que deben haber aprendido, ¿verdad? Aquí acuérdense que eh, vamos paso a paso. We go step by step. Entonces, usted va a ver cuál es el vocabulario meta de Target Vocabulary para cada unidad. También en las 7 van a encontrar cuál es la gramática que estamos estudiando, las actividades que vienen recomendadas dentro del libro, las lecturas que vienen en el libro y las actividades de writing que vienen en el libro, ¿verdad? Es para que usted sepa qué es lo que estamos haciendo en este curso, ¿verdad? Así que usted por A por B se siente perdido. Ay, es que yo siento que no he aprendido porque hay toda la unidad 1, no entendía y alguna cosa. No nos va a suceder, espero yo, ¿verdad? Que alguien se me quede así. Pero si por casualidad usted se sintiera así, va a este mapita y mira, bueno, si yo aprendí Monday Activities, ah, pues ya la hicimos, ¿verdad? Ya lo aprendí. Uh, si yo aprendí Time Expressions for Regular Activities, ah, bueno, entonces yo comprendí, ¿verdad? Si ya yo ya puedo usar Expression to Ask About Money, ok, then ya cumplí mi objetivo, ¿verdad? Y así sucesivamente, usted se va ubicando acá. Y luego, pues, tiene todas las actividades, ¿verdad? A partir de la página 9, usted encuentra todo lo que vamos haciendo acá en el salón y lo que les queda de tareas y las cuestiones que van a ir realizando. Bien, ¿is there any question so far about the platform? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de la plataforma? No. ¿No preguntas? No, sí, sí. Okay. But I have a question. Pero yo otra cosa. We have class the Monday and then Saturday. No, we have classes yeah, eh, sorry, from. Eh, eh, Sábado y domingo. No, no Saturday, no Sunday. From Monday through Friday. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh, okay. Only five days a week. Mm -hmm. From okay, eight to okay. ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no Saturdays, no Sundays. Anybody else? Questions? Are we okay? Bien, no tengan miedo ni pena de preguntarme. Ahorita vamos a ir al break of room, solo tenemos unos pocos minutitos y vamos a ir a practicar la conversación del día de ayer. El día de ayer estábamos viendo precisamente cómo se pregunta ahí en la página 9, ¿verdad? What do you do on Mondays or every Monday morning? Y luego, pues, hicimos estas dos eh, preguntas que las contestamos ayer, ¿verdad? Ahora, vamos a completar también la actividad número 5 cuando regresemos, ¿ok? Vamos todos a practicar esta conversacioncita. La voy a enviar por medio del WhatsApp. Teacher. Tell me. Um, estoy revisando, perdón, eh, pero tampoco no salgo yo en, en la inscripción. Tal vez me hace el favor de, ingres, de agregarme. Ok, Ronaldo, está bien. Fernando. Uh -huh. Fernando, Fernando, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. ¿Y saben qué? Ronaldo, le vamos a contar. Dice que ahorita yo digo... Eh, muy bien, Ronaldo. And my daughter, she is six years old. Y me hace, ¡Oh, Ronaldo! <laughs> yeah. So, así que you are famous. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Esperamos que no sea cristiano, Ronaldo. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Aquí tenemos famosos, ya ven, ya ven. Bien, ahorita va entonces todos al breakout room. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos en el breakout room? Practicar la conversación, ¿verdad? Eh, de uno a uno, ¿sí? Vamos a tratar que todos queden de dos. Solo lo practicamos unas dos veces y nos venimos, ¿ok? Para el main session. Vamos a ver, permítanme. Allow me just one second. Y ahí vamos. Yo, les va a caer una invitación ahí y ustedes le ponen join or accept. ¿Cómo les aparece a ustedes? Aún no, teacher, no aparece. I don't say you. I don't say, oh. Un, unirse aparece. <ríe> ok, join. Ajá. Unirse, join. Denle clic ahí uh -huh. y van a ir a la, uh -huh. van a ir al salón. Helen, ¿recibió la invitación Helen para ingresar? I do actually. Eh, ¿Me escuchan ahorita? Yes. Ok. Yes, I do actually. I check I once on and twist a day. Great, great. It's a very important. Ok, ahora si gusta, ligerito, démosle vuelta. Ahora yo soy Sofía y tú, Mario. Ok. Eh, what do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report attending a meeting. I also to organize a meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check every day? Uh, sorry, sorry. Do you check it every day? Yes, I do. Act yes, I do actually. I check it once, once or twice a day. Great. It's very important. Vaya, ahora sería. Si gusta ustedes dos primero. <laughs> okay. Vaya, eso. Yo Sofía. Yeah. Okay. okay. What do you every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly reports and attend a meetings. I also have to organize in meetings every two Monday. How every two Monday? How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes. I do activity. I check is once 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 or once one once once is all this twice a day. Great, it's very important. Si quieres okay. tú le das vuelta, okay. Ronel. Bueno. What do you What do you do? Every morning, Monday morning. Otro sí, no más. No me. Teacher, I have a question. Hello, Gabriela, tell me. Eh, para organizes, como... organizes. Organizes, organizes, organizes meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Organize. 
But that's in the third person. Organize con I, you, we, and they, ¿verdad? Organize, mm -hmm. organizes. Hmm? Eh, eh, checks, así no. Chicks, oh, no. No, check. Chicks, check. Checks, checks. Mm -hmm. your mate. Your mate. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. Okay. Organizes, uh -huh, means. My, pues de nuevo. Eh, Juan Carlos. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email. I, I call client for the rest in the morning. What about you? I have to read a week, weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize a meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I don't actually check it once, one or two a day. Great. A day, a day. <laughs> Great. It is very important. Okay, very good. Let's do it together. You are Sofia, Gabriela, and Juan Carlos is Mario. Okay? Uh, digámoslo juntas, Gabriela. Let's say it together. What do you do every Monday morning? What do you do every Monday morning? Uh -huh. Mario, let's do it together. I check my email. Mar uh, Juan Carlos? Sí. I, I check my email. And I call clients. And I call client. For the rest of the morning. For the rest of the morning. What about you? What about you? I have to read, Gabriela. I, I have, have to read. I have to read. A weekly report. A weekly report. And attend a meeting. And attend a meeting. I also have to organize meetings. I also, also have to organize meetings. Every two Mondays. Uh -huh. Every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Uh -huh. Do you check it every day? Do you check it every day? Uh -huh. Vamos, Juan Carlos. Yes. Yes. I do, actually. I do, actually. I check it once or twice a day. I check it the once or try a day. A day. Mm -hmm. day. And Gabriela. Great. It is very Great. important. Great. It... Great. It uh -huh. is very important. Very good. Yes. All right. Let's go back to the main session, guys. Let's go back. Hmm? All right, we want to listen to Débora and Alma. Okay. okay, teacher. Alma, ¿cómo se dice teacher? How do you say, eh, inicia tú primero? Ah, uh, you first. You you first. First. You first. Mm -hmm. first. You first. You first. Mm -hmm. You first, Alma. Please. <laughs> okay. 
Permítame que la perdí la imagen. Ah, okay, Ahorita. I will share it. I will share it. Don't worry, I will share it. Okay. Yeah, I have yeah. to share it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, you may mm, start. What, okay. What do you do every Monday morning? I check my email and I call clients for the rest of the morning. What about you? I have to read a weekly report and attend a meeting. I also have to organize meeting every two Mondays. How often do you check your email? Do you check it every day? Yes, I do actually. I check it or once, once or twice a day. Great, it is very important. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, let's refine some pronunciations here. Once or twice. Once. Mm -hmm. Or twice. Once. Es que me, me, se me olvidó, teacher. Alma me no lo problem. Alma le cuesta decir actually. Ah, okay. <laughs> y a mí me costó mucho eso también. All right. Thank you, teacher. Once or twice. Everybody, please open your microphones and let's say once or twice. Once or twice. Once or twice. Once or twice. Now, together once will be once, once a day or twice a day. Once a day, twice a day. And this word is important. Important. Okay, important. Important. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. important. important. Yes, important. important. Yes, import, import. Ahí va en eh, la fuerza de voz. Important. 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 Exactly. Important. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have only three minutes, guys. We have only three minutes, and I just want you to read. Okay, we will read just it. We say, for example, when we talk about the routine activities, like those we were studying, yeah, we say, on Mondays, I check my email, right? Yo puedo poner la expresión de tiempo al inicio como lo puedo poner al final de la oración, okay? La expresión de tiempo como las que hemos visto. ¿Ok? Hay otras expresiones de tiempo que llevan otro orden, pero el orden de las palabras en estas oraciones con time expressions for regular activities, on Mondays, for example, on Tuesdays, on Fridays, on Saturdays, on weekends, could be at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. So let's do it together. On Mondays, I check my email. Everybody, please come with me. On Mondays, I check my email. On Monday, I check my email. On Mondays, I type a letter. On Mondays, I type a letter. On Mondays, I write a report. On Mondays, I write a report. On Mondays, I attend a meeting. On Monday, I attend a meeting. Ahora démosle vuelta y digamos, I call clients on Mondays. I, I, on on I read a report on Mondays. Read and read on Mondays. I visit clients on Mondays. I visit clients on Mondays. I organize meetings on Mondays. I organize meetings on Mondays. So we can do it at the beginning or at the end. Pero si sí se nota que hay... A veces se siente el énfasis, ¿verdad? El énfasis en la actividad o el énfasis en la time expression. For example, if I say on Mondays I type a letter, it's no emphasis, right? But if I say I organize meetings on Mondays, okay? That's the emphasis, right? So at the, at the end or at the beginning, it will be all right. It will be okay. It's not a mistake if it goes at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Is that okay, everybody? Is there any question so far? No, no questions. No questions. Okay, it's 10 o'clock p.m. I will call the roll, so please everybody turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please say present. Alma Yamile Hernández de Vázquez? Present. 
Carlos Edgardo Vázquez Espino. Presente, Carlos Ernesto Galán Serrano. Presente. Débora Yamilet Campos Cortés. Present teacher. Ok. Fernando Enrique Martínez Macín. Present teacher. Fernando Noel Mauricio Cíntigo. Present teacher. Gabriela Liseta Hernández Cruz. Present teacher. Ok. Helen Saraí Hernández Larín. Eh, creo que se desconectó, ¿verdad? José Adonai Mendoza Aguillón. Present teacher. José Antonio Campos Rivas. I know you are a, a, a listener, José Antonio. Eh, Juan Carlos Gavidia Alfaro. Present María teacher. Ok. María Isabel Rivas Guevara. Ronaldo Josué Guerrero Hernández. Rosa Estela Polanco García. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ok. Present teacher. Ok. Samuel Eduardo Araniva Galvez. Samuel Eduardo, you there? I remember he was connected. Don't say teacher. No, right? No. Oh. Uh, Sandra Elizabeth Villatoro Sánchez. Okay. Um. Saúl Álvarez Pacheco. Present teacher. Ok. Stephanie Magali Amaya Reyes. Verónica Beatriz Elso de Saldaña. Present teacher. Ok, there we are, guys. Eh, ahora le tocaría a Carlos Edgardo Vázquez quedarse a la sesión uno a uno. Eh, ¿Quiere quedarse, Carlos? Sí, sí, gracias. Ok, el día de mañana le tocaría a Carlos Ernesto, ok, así que prepare sus preguntas de estas dos clases, ok. Bien, have a very good night everybody and remember to do your homework. Uh, do Teacher, and to... a mí no me mencionó. Didn't I, Marta Alicia? Oh, just give me one second and I will check this. Double no sé si es porque ayer me sacó antes de la, de la sección eh. Eh, no, 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 no es por eso. Y puede ser que yo me haya saltado el nombre. Perdone, uh, it, my apologies, I didn't uh, notice. Marta Alicia Rivera Sosa, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, I checked you in already. Mm -hmm. No problem. See so, you later, teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a very good night, everybody. Okay. Almost there, almost there. Okay, here we are, Carlos Edgardo. How are you tonight? Um, okay, great. Uh, is there any question or that that I can help you with? Uh, the, the difference uh, between workout and, and exercise because I have to confuse to use oh, okay. uh, this word. Mm -hmm. Okay, workout is the name of that activity, okay? To work out, work out together, okay? Work out. Work out and say about exercises. Workout usually is in the gym. It's uh, something methodic and systematic, right? It's like a sport, right? Like a sport that you go and you lift um, uh, weights, right? And so on. But yes, there is a difference. Uh, even though everybody use it like interchangeably, but it has a kind of difference. 
<clears throat> Allow me just to show you. Uh, I will give you a link, all right? I will give you a link for you to expand these difference, okay? Expand this meaning. But the thing here is that the workout is when you go systematically to a gym and you have like a regimen, right? You have like a, a like a sport, right? You are building your body or maybe you, you are doing this for health. You are in a program of exercises that you continuously um, exercise your body, right? But exercises are just things or... Um, sets of moving your body exercises could be dancing or aerobics or these other kind of exercises right but workout is heavy right workout is heavy um i don't know if i answer your question with this yeah, no, no. Okay, I will I will give you this uh, link so you can check. This is like a uh, an article talking about the difference between the workout and the exercises, and you will see the differences. And there are some uh, pictures there that you can check. All right, there are some mm -hmm. pictures what workout is and what is an exercise or what is to exercise. All right, even though people just do it i mean use the words interchangeably but let's try to make the difference right mm -hmm. um to make this the bicycle is this the exercise or workout again can you repeat is if i ride a bicycle is mm -hmm. workout or exercise well, actually, if you have a regimen before doing your uh, sport, okay, before practicing your sport, uh, your preparation, body preparation, that's workout, right? You are okay. preparing your body to do that. But if you just go uh, to ride your bike, you are just doing exercise, right? Because it's not a okay. regimen. Mm -hmm. It's not a regimen. Also, you can say exercise when you just use it like a mean of transport, right? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Transportation, yeah, from one place to another place. Okay, I'm exercising because I'm just riding my bike, but it's not workout. Uh -huh. That's what they say when you say, for example, you have to walk uh, 10 blocks from the bus stop to your work. You say, but I walk every day. You say to the doctor, right? But the doctor say, but that's not exercise. That's your everyday life. So this is the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. Uh huh. I hope this is clear, but is there any other question you have I can help you with? No, only one of was is the, this question I have. Okay. Mm, the other is only the group of WhatsApp. Uh -huh. I don't have included. Ah, you are included. Okay. Didn't you receive an email from, uh, um, well, actually, my question, my first question should be, the Human Resources Department didn't share you the email they received that you were enrolled? No, Did you receive they, they any information? Receive no? no oh, okay. So now I will send you the I will send you the link for you to join, all right? Okay. Pero este grupo de WhatsApp no ha creado todavía, o sí ya lo crearon. Yes, it is already created. Mm -hmm. I will give you the link so you can join. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is the link, so you, you may join from that link. Thank you. All right. Uh-huh. So I think you should receive also the enrollment. 
the enrollment information. This is what you are missing. Um, uh, but did you access to your account? Did you access yeah. to, your, to your platform? Uh, mm -hmm. Do you mind? Are you in the platform already? Yes, I have. Do you mind? Do you mind sending me your? I mean, a screenshot of how it uh, appears when you access the platform. I saw this picture. Okay, thank you. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. So I will send the report completely. Mm Okay, I sent it, so the report is May. Thank you. I hope they get in contact with you. I hope they get in contact with you tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, then, Carlos Edgardo, if you have no more questions, I think we are done, right? Yeah, yeah. yes. I don't have any questions more. Okay, then I... I will tell you, have a very good night and see you tomorrow. <laughs> good night, see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow, Carlos. Thank you. My pleasure, no problem.